Hi friends, this is Sneha from SM Creatives. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a simple blush and gold watercolor invitation RSVP card. Now we've already made the invitation. This is in the previous video, which I'll link to below. In this video, we're going to make a matching RSVP card. And for doing that, we're going to be using pages on Mac, which comes free with every Mac machine. And Windows users can use Microsoft Word. Now let's get on with it. First things first. Open up pages, new document, blank landscape, go to file, page setup and choose the size. We want this to be 3.5 by 5 inches. It's smaller than the wedding invitation, which is normally 5 by 7 inches. So this is 3.5 by 5. Okay. Let me increase, zoom it in a little bit. Now we have our canvas ready. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to use a blush and gold watercolor border. We go to our kit of blush and gold watercolor borders and uh, this design kit and choose a border from here. I've linked this below. You can use any other border that you have, but I'm going to be using this blush and gold watercolor border. It's really shiny and pretty and this is the one that I'm going to be using. We'll just drag and drop it. Now we want to rotate this. So we'll go to arrange, choose 90 degree and there you've rotated it. Take it to the corner now. Hold down the shift key and just increase the size so that it fits. You can just center it a little bit. There. Now it's perfect. Next we're going to add some text. First, click on the text key and you get this text box to open. Write RSVP because this is an RSVP card. We're going to be using Medina font. It's the same font that we used for our invitation. Uh, I don't like how it looks in all capitals, so I'm going to make it all small. This looks nicer. Increase the size. Maybe decrease it a little bit. Again, center align it and right. Okay, okay. We're just gonna choose a color. You can choose any pre-saved color or it's a little too bright. We can use it's a different lighter color from here. I've chosen this nice peachy pink. I like this pink. I'm going to now place it on top. Next, we're going to add some more text. Uh, we're going to choose Times New Roman. This is the same font that we used for our wedding invitation. So it'll keep our uh, invitation suite cohesive to use the same font. Make it a little larger. Central line. And to get that dash, we're just going to uh, click, uh, hold down the shift key and basically get an underscore and a series of underscores will give us this nice long straight line. And we're gonna buy whatever, 50 inch one. Decrease the font size. italics and I want all of this to be a softer gray color that's it this is like centered centered and that's it that's our RSVP design done now I'm not going to add anything else I like it nice and simple minimal design now we're just going to export it go to file export to PDF Image quality, choose best so that you get the best results in print. Go to next and save it as whatever it is. And we're done. And we're going to check out. This is the RSVP card that we just made. And here it is. It's at 181% and you can still see how good the quality is. Actual design is this size done now you can send this to your friends you can print it out and you know you can send it to your printers or get it uh, printed at home even 
but basically your RSVP card is done and if you followed along in our previous video which was about designing this wedding invitation along with it this is the invitation that we made then you'll have both your designs ready to go so I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, I've linked all of the resources used below and yeah please click thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like it goodbye have a good day